Hey YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a story time. I recently had an experience with eBay Authenticate that I wanted to share with you, but first I want to talk about the rabbit hole that led me down the path to that experience. So I talk a lot about my boys, the sports that we go to, and the school colors. And basically the school colors are a lighter shade of blue, kind of like the lighter parts of this heathered top, and then a bright red. So to give you an idea, these are the colors I'm talking about. And I have four bags at my feet. Well, actually, two bags because I was going to show you these two. This is the Tory Burch Willa. And I think this color is called blue wood or pancake. It's a beautiful shade of blue and goes very well with my boys sports team colors. And then I've got the Longchamp here. This is the extra small, comes with a leather strap and it's in red. I don't know if it had a fancy name that went in front of the word red, but this bag is also very color coordinating with different gear that I may wear to support my boys' sports teams. The other two bags I have to show you are these two, my coach Pillow Madison and my coach Cassie 19. The Pillow Madison is in the color chambray and then the Cassie 19 is in the color sport red. So as you can see, I have some options of bags that I can wear when I'm going to a sports game. But lately, the luxury bug has bitten me and I'm infected and I've been buying a bunch of luxury handbags and I don't know, I just sort of feel like I need a luxury bag to wear to my kids' sporting events, which is insane. It's ridiculous. So I have worn my St. Laurent Collège bag in the Sharon blue color, which really isn't, I mean, it doesn't match their colors, but as you can see, it does go very nicely with the pale blue. So that's an option, but it's not like a true match. So I was sort of looking at the Gucci Soho Disco in the red. It came in a Tabasco red a few years ago and recently has been available on Gilt and Rue La La. It's not currently. There's also a Gucci Marmot camera bag that's like the one that I unboxed recently in the gray color and that's also in a red with gold hardware. I've been considering both of those and I leaned heavily towards the Soho Disco. And the reason is because of its measurements. That bag is eight inches wide by, I believe, six inches tall. And why does that matter? Well, the reason is, is because I could also use it to go to sporting events at the University of Kansas. And it just so happens that those dimensions would be acceptable to go into a sporting event there, at least now with their current rules. So I took the plunge, I found one on eBay and I purchased it. And that bag had an authenticity guarantee. Let me plop a picture of the bag that I purchased in right here so you can see what I'm talking about. So you saw the bag, it looks a little bit misshapen, but the previous owner or the current owner, I guess I should say, he told me that his wife had worn it twice for probably five hours each time and it looked brand new. So what happens when eBay has the authenticity guarantee is the shoes or the bag, they get shipped to an authentication center and that's what happened with this bag. It's sort of a lengthy process because they don't pay for like super fast shipping. Right now, eBay doesn't charge you for that authentication, so they're doing it as budget-minded as possible. So my bag, because it was my bag at the point it reached the authentication center, arrived there safe and sound and was examined by an authenticator named Roxanne. And Roxanne contacted me in the middle of the night last night by email and said, hey, you know, we looked over your bag and it has light staining throughout the interior. 
I'm gonna pop the three pictures I have in right here. In those photographs, in the first one, I saw a small stain below the red patch that says Gucci on the inside of the bag. But besides that, there was nothing I could distinguish from what I would consider a shadow. And so that has me confused. Like I really, I mean, I didn't know for sure what I wanted to do, but I really didn't like the wording that Roxanne gave me that it had light staining throughout the interior. I would rather buy my bags brand new than pre-loved. The only reason I bought this one pre-loved is because right now anyway, it's not available brand new. And so the idea that it had staining from whatever, from food or something on the inside of the bag kind of grossed me out. Even if it was just that one tiny speck, she did say throughout. I reached out to the seller and just said, hey, you know, they told me that it had staining throughout, so I don't know what I'm going to do. And they replied back, just get the bag and look at it, and then if you want to send it back, you can. And I thought about it. I decided that's not really what I want to do. If an authenticator stopped, took the time to email me and say it has light staining throughout the interior, I think it's probably more than one stain. Now, maybe it was like a water stain on the inside that wasn't super noticeable and looked like a shadow, but if that's the case, I really don't want the bag. So I decided to pass on that bag. Then I decided I would go for the red Marmont camera bag that's like my gray one. I got on Farfetch, which I know I've had horrible experiences with Farfetch, but it popped up when I looked at a search engine that Farfetch had one of those for $1,200 and the retail is $1,650. So I jumped on it. There was only one available and guess what happened? As soon as the order went through, it told me who it was shipping from. And so I found out that it was shipping from the Webster. Now the Webster is in the United States. It's down in Miami. So what did I do? I Googled the Webster and what I found was extremely, extremely disturbing. I've had a not so good experience with Farfetch where I had to fight for my money and people who have purchased from the Webster, many, 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 many have had bad experiences with items coming damaged and not being able to get their money back. So I went in, I canceled my order, and if I haven't already popped a picture of that bag in, I'll pop a picture of it in here so you can see what I'm talking about. So I canceled the order for that one too. Now that, I can find that on sale for basically $14.15 after tax, but I just don't want to pay that much for it. So I don't know what to do now. I kind of think I don't need a red bag to carry to sporting events. I mean, heck, I have these two bags and they're really cute. So why do I need another one? I think it's a little bit of insanity, to be honest with you, because nobody needs three red bags that are all about the same size to wear to sporting events. And I don't know if this one would get me into the University of Kansas basketball stadium because it's like almost, well, it's around nine inches at the top and their limit's eight and a half, but I could certainly bring this one, I think. And so I've got myself covered to get in with a cute red bag. So why do I need a Gucci bag? Gosh, I don't know. I just kind of want one. So what should I do? Am I losing it, guys? I think I am. I think I'm a little cuckoo. <laughs> but I just wanted to stop and let you know a little bit of the insanity that goes on in Erin's brain when she's shopping for another handbag. And the only reason why I started shopping for a red handbag to begin with is because that first gray Gucci Marmont came with damage. And I talked about that in the two Gucci Marmont unboxings. I can link both of those down below. And when that happened, I ordered this red bag. And then after that, I reordered the gray bag. And the gray bag came and it was okay this time. So now I really don't need to replace the original one a second time. But now I've got the red 
bag in my brain. So we'll see. I don't know what's going to happen. I have a feeling I'll probably end up with a high-end designer red bag that's almost the same exact color as this one. But maybe I'll be able to withstand the crazy long enough to find the next thing. So if you like this content, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.